Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm just popping in real quick to make a super random video about mask acne. I struggled with it for a week and I got rid of it in a week. I don't typically struggle with acne and it was something that literally just popped in within like one or two days and it was like a rash basically all over my forehead and like my nose area right here. It was like so much so fast and it was just like a hit to my confidence. I didn't take too many pictures obviously because my skin wasn't looking the greatest. This picture here is from July 27th this was like prime when it was so bad you can just see it all along my nose and my forehead and like I said it just kind of popped up out of nowhere like super really randomly and really quick and then I went to the dermatologist on the 30th of July and today it is currently the 4th of August so this is what my skin looks like today I took this right when I woke up in the morning as you can tell like the redness the bumps are gone and my skin is pretty much back to its normal state it's not perfect obviously i don't think anyone has like perfect skin but it's definitely nowhere near as chaotic as it was when i first got it it was pretty bad that is one two three four five days so a little less than like a full week it's definitely cleared up there are like um dark spots kind of where the acne was but that should go away within like two to three weeks because i don't really play with my skin like that's a huge no-no if you pop your pimples you're gonna have bigger problems in terms of the scarring that you're giving yourself um so that's just like a tip up front never play with your skin never pop your pimples and just be gentle on your skin if they come up and they flare out give it time to kind of just go away on its own you guys are here for the answer i have five things that kind of helped me reduce my acne but the number one thing the answer that you guys are all here for is one xin this is a prescription it's clidomycin phosphate and benzoyl peroxide 1.2% slash 3.75%. Highly recommend to go to the professional because if you're dealing with mask acne, like they know what's best. I was actually not in even for my acne, but she saw it and she gave me the sample. So this was free. If you go to a dermatologist, ask for like a sample size. Maybe they'll be able to give you a sample. She gave me two of these and I'm not even done with the first one. And I've been using it since my dermatologist appointment every morning and every single night. And then for the past like day day and a half i've been using it only at night because it does dry up your skin you basically just put a little bit on your bumps it'll turn white and it literally just flakes off like overnight i saw i want to say like an 80 percent drastic change in my appearance 90 percent of the acne was gone because of this product this is your main answer while i'm using this i wasn't wearing any makeup because i just wanted the medicine to just do what it needs to do so anytime that i put this on before i would cleanse my face with a gentle cleanser add this on and just let it dry um i didn't do any other skincare just cleanser i'm still probably going to use it every night just on the little bumps that i have here left on my forehead which is not a lot at all it's actually typical like i typically will have a few bumps here on my forehead so my skin is like back to my normal but if i do see flare-ups or anything i'll probably just put this on at night after a few days of using this i added in my exfoliant because my skin did get a little bit dry and it was a gentle exfoliant and then i added moisturizer i would put the moisture moisturizer everywhere besides where i was putting this and i would just apply this to where my acne was but I wouldn't put anything else on my acne post cleanse my second tip that I have for you guys is to switch to a gentle skin regimen I think a lot of the times when we are bombarded with acne it could be really scary and terrifying so you like google and test out all these different super harsh chemicals you go like a little bit too extreme on your face where it kind of does the opposite and your skin is just going to break out even more you want to be very gentle with your skin I switched back over to my CeraVe hydrating facial cleanser this stuff is one of the most gentle cleansers with the cleanest ingredients it's made by dermatologists such an easy gentle cleanser for for your skin i know a lot of like people recommend this i'll leave it linked down below for you guys you can get it at the drugstore it's super inexpensive so i'll exfoliate with this dermalogica daily exfoliant again super super easy gentle exfoliant it doesn't have like huge microbeads it's a powder form so you put a little bit of water in it and you can feel your skin exfoliating but it's not too rough also when you are cleansing and exfoliating and putting all these products on your face i've heard that you are so familiar with your face that you can be a little bit too harsh so treat your skin as if you were putting it on someone else so if you were exfoliating someone else's skin with this how would you like how much pressure would you apply to your skin how harsh would you apply the skincare on that's what you want to do to your face like just gentle 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 and then as for lotion i use the cerave moisturizing cream again 
super inexpensive, so gentle, recommended all the time by dermatologists, the best bang for your buck. I feel like skincare is just so overcomplicated. There's so many things in skincare that just is so unnecessary. As for my makeup, um, I tried my best not to wear makeup. I do film occasionally, so sometimes I would put on makeup to film take it back off and then apply 1x in again um so if you can limit your makeup don't wear makeup at all just let your skin breathe for a week if you have to i highly recommend to exfoliate before you put on your makeup and then apply like a thick lather of lotion on just because when you do put makeup on it can kind of flake your skin and make your skin very dry and that's very discouraging to see and like that was something that i noticed when i put my makeup on it just wasn't like gliding into my skin it was making my skin flake off it was really gross but yeah so if you are gonna have to put on makeup exfoliate and moisturize before you apply your makeup and that should like be a little bit less discouraging but try your best to let your skin breathe also simplify your products i went through all of my makeup and instead of trying out different foundations and things that i was like experimenting with in terms of makeup i found one foundation one concealer one bronzer one powder only one of everything and i just used the same products simplifying your makeup and simplifying your skincare and not going crazy with constantly switching out products is the best for your skin right now because you want routine because your skin is obviously reacting to something so keep it as simple as possible the fourth thing that i have is to take a break from any time that you have to wear a mask obviously like wear it out in public wear it wear it where it needs to be worn i fortunately do work from home i don't have to wear a mask all the time so i was exercising a lot outside and i would have to wear my mask i'm in the city so i wear a mask when i'm running but i'll just like put it here on my chin and then pop it back up when i'm done running when I go back into my building and I feel like that was really really bad to get all sweaty and grimy and then have a mask on top of that and then the constant rubbing on my skin I have very sensitive skin was very harsh for my skin so try your best to limit your mask I'll work out inside now I'm never not gonna work out outside but just for the meantime I'm gonna be trying my best to just stay inside as best as I can not go out as frequently so instead of buying like and going to the grocery store every single few days I just buy bulk and then go once and then I don't have to like constantly be wearing my mask so just be cautious of when you're wearing your mask try not to sweat in your mask I feel really bad for people who have to work with their mask on I don't really have advice for that um, maybe speak to your dermatologist if you are someone that needs to constantly be wearing a mask I'm not saying don't wear a mask wear your mask I am a pro mask but if you can find a way to work around your lifestyle to be more inside just during this time while your skin is healing that's what I did so so now that I have cleared out my skin, I switched back to disposable masks. I had been wearing cotton masks. That could be another reason why. I do, like I said, I have very sensitive skin. So when I throw my mask in the wash, I feel like the chemicals from the wash get on my skin. Um, the cotton material, like being able to reuse it all the time, maybe wasn't the cleanest. So I switched back to disposable masks. This is what works for me. I tested my skin. You really just gotta know your skin. I will reuse these occasionally, depending on how long I use them. If I go out for a whole day and I'm using the mask, obviously I'm gonna like throw it away. If I'm going downstairs to go pick up a package, I can probably just like get by by using it a couple more times. Like I've used this probably like five times and it's still like really stiff and there's no makeup or anything or any grime. So yeah, those are my tips. I really hope that this helps one of you guys. It's really nothing to joke about. I've never dealt with acne in my life and having that all over my face was just so discouraging to see and it was so frustrating. I know a lot of people are struggling with acne right now because of the masks and it's unfortunate. It's probably the best problem we can have though right now during this time. So just keep that in mind. It's better than obviously getting sick or getting a family member sick. So it sucks, but we're working our way around it. And I hope that these tips can help um, heal someone's skin as it did for me. And yeah, I will continue to update you guys on my vlogs. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys all in a future video. Bye guys.